of course, we need to put in some time to make sure we learn these electronics. So I try to make these videos anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes long. And I think that is not a bad investment of your time to um, learn how to use these electronics if that's all it takes, guys. So just put a little bit of time into it and the results that you will get from that little bit of time will definitely pay off. What's up, guys? This is Ryan Johnson with MoneyBass.com. And for this week's electronics tutorial we will be going over um, some simple waypoint management and I'll try to make this quick for you guys um, and then if you have any more detailed questions please make sure you put that down in the comment section let me go ahead and get this system booted up so we can get going on it but like I said if you have questions because I will kind of go through this pretty quick so there may be some things that may not be completely um, covered but a lot of you guys may already know some of the basics. So like I said, if you don't and you have uh, additional questions, please make sure you put that down in the comments and I'll try to get to those questions and um, make sure that you guys are able to utilize the information that I'm about to give you. So what I'm doing right now is I'm preparing for my next tournament, which will be at Lake Gunnersville. Um, I just finished a tournament at Lake Lanier. And for my waypoint management system, I keep a bag of, let me go ahead and put this down here. Open that up. I keep a bag of SD cards. And on each one of these cards, if you pull them up, they will be different lakes. That's Lake West Point. We have Oconee, Wadawi, Lake Hartwell. Lake Sinclair, but you get the idea. That's Lake Chickamauga. So as I'm going to these lakes, um, Lake Jackson, I'm putting together all of these um, waypoints, Alabama River, and what we're going to be concentrating on right now is this Lake Lanier. And if you notice, the chip is not in there. The SD card is not in there because it's currently in the unit. If you lose those waypoints, you are losing hours and hours, days of time, and a lot of money if you lose those waypoints because the time that it will take to go back and replace all of those waypoints on those cars that I just showed you, that is basically years of work and you don't want to risk losing that. So I back those up on an SD card and I also back them up on a computer like I said. I will hit the menu button twice and you want to go to the menu settings where you will find, let's see, we're looking for waypoints. So it's under the nav setting and you want to go down to waypoints. And if you look in here, for each one of these units, I will have an SD card on the left and an SD card on the right. I keep mine on one of these SD cards. One of them is going to be my Lake Master chip. The other one is going to be the SD card that I save all my waypoints on. So I'm going to export all of the waypoints from this unit onto my um, the SD card. All right, and here we go. So we'll start seeing all of these waypoints. All of these waypoints on here. You may have names on yours. I go through and delete those names so it does not clutter up my screen whenever I on my mapping screen. Um, but basically, that is all of those waypoints. So we're going to come back out of here. We are going to go to options. Go to you hit the right arrow key all right there we go so we hit the right arrow key and then we're going to go down to select all once you hit the arrow key over to the right again we want to export so let me just double check and make sure that chip is in there and there we go you can see the chip you can see the chip inside of there so we'll come back out select all and export so i'm exporting that save tracks waypoints routes and you just want to confirm that so hit yes and that will put all of my waypoints on the sd card so i'll come up here go to options go over to select all and and i want to export and then i want to confirm that i want to export those waypoints and what that is going to do is put those waypoints on that chip and like i said on these chips down here you're going to have a mapping side and you're going to have the other side is going to be your um, actual SD card that saves waypoints any screenshots or anything like that that you take all right so now 
all we're going to do is take the, the SD card out of both of these and transfer those to the computer. And once I have confirmed that they are saved on the computer, I will delete those waypoints off of both of the units. So now all of the units will be completely blank of any waypoints. And I will take my Gunnersville chip and I will place that into this unit and put those waypoints onto this unit. And since they are all networked, then I will be good to go and ready to go to the next lake. And that's basically the process. So let's go ahead and take a look at the computer real quick and go through that and then we'll be done, fellas. Okay, so now that we are on the computer, you want to go to your Hummingbird PC, which is this icon right here. Click on that and allow Hummingbird PC to open up. If you do not already have that on your computer, go to hummingbird.com and that is where you can download that software once that opens up you will see all of the lakes that i have stored in here and this is pretty much where i back up everything so if i lose it and also i have backups of the backups and i put a backup on another computer also because like i said that is a lot of time work money sweat tears and effort that is into those waypoints so you definitely don't want to lose those so from here I will just take the SD card out of the unit, place that into the computer. All right, so once that comes up, you will go over to this icon right here. And I believe it's this blue button, download from SD to PC. And that's what you want to do. So you hit that blue button, you see it will download. Now it will put a new, um, a new file right here. So what we do is click on this file, go to waypoints, and let's see if I can get this. Now, there you go. You see those six waypoints. They have now been transferred to the computer. So now once we have those six waypoints on there, we can take that chip back out. So from here, we'll go back to the blue button again, and you will see it download and a new file will be created. All right, so there we go. Now we have the waypoints on the computer. We're going to go into, let's just take this smaller file. We'll go to waypoints, and now you'll see those six waypoints there. We'll click on one, go down here, hold the shift key, and highlight all of those. Now what we're going to do is right click. I go to copy and I'm going to paste those into that larger file. Waypoint, right click on waypoints, and you want to paste those waypoints in there. So now once we click on the waypoint button, and what you wanna do is scroll down, and you will be able to confirm that those new six waypoints are in on that right side. So now once they're in this other file, I can go and rename this. So I just click on it and I leave the information after the dot on there. But let's just make this Lake Lanier. And let's say this is October of 2021. There we go. Oops, let's fix that. October 2021, all right, so there we go. So now we have saved all of those waypoints in there. We can go back here. This file has already been copied into this other um, file. So we no longer need that one. Let's just shrink this one down. here there we go and we can delete this one right here so we'll just highlight that and hit the delete key and that just kind of cleans it up a little bit so what I do from here is take the SD card out of the unit and put it back in the computer and I'm going to transfer this file that now has all of the waypoints on it to that SD card so now we're going to go to this green button and it says upload from PC to SD. So we're gonna click that. 
please choose how to update navigation data on this device. And so I am going to replace everything on that card so it doesn't put the waypoints on there twice. I'm going to replace everything. And now all of the waypoints are on this chip. Do you, let me see, this action will delete and replace. You want to click yes. And that will be done. Now I go back here because I've already backed up everything. And menu button twice, go back to menu button twice, go back to waypoints, routes, and tracks. Hit the right key. And now I am going to go to options, select all. Oops, let's see. Options, select all and. And now I'm going to delete these. Processing tracks waypoint. So now everything is deleted. So now I can take my SD card from here, upload successful, take the SD card back from the computer, place it back into the unit, upload nav data SD card from SD card, right arrow loading okay so now it's loading everything and it may take a minute if you have a lot so we just uploaded 1800 SD um, 1800 waypoints so what we're doing whenever we uploaded that now that is just to confirm that all of the waypoints are now on that SD card now we know all the you the waypoints are on the SD card and they are actually on the computer so what I do from here is go ahead and take this out because now this has all of those waypoints from that lake on there so I can take this SD card out it is now backed up on the SD card and the computer now once I have done that I put that SD card back into that case that one is done now that I have exported all of the waypoints confirmed that they are saved on the chip and the computer now I can go in here and safely select all and delete so now that is going to delete all of those waypoints. Now I simply pick whatever lake that I want and upload those um, waypoints from that SD card. All right, guys, that is the process. If you have any questions, please leave the questions down in the comments section. And hopefully this has helped you out. But waypoint management is very, very important. Make sure you like this video, share it with your friends. Let's continue to help each other out, guys. I appreciate you supporting the channel. All right, let's head to the next lake.